a half a gallon of soda there. <laughs> so it's the Panda Express unveiling. <laughs> Are we going to use this silverware? Uh, mm, may as well, since we got it. Okay, it, all, it has a special little... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, dropped, like a fortune cookie? I don't know what I dropped. Oh, here we go. It's sauce. Oh, sauce. Please accept. Okay, what we got was a family meal, which is two sides and three entrees oh so i think what we're gonna need to do is probably put some of these in containers well i think we'll get some plates or something oh yeah Well, hello, bear watchers. <laughs> Welcome to our <laughs> annual mukbang. Uh, you know, we weren't gonna call it a mukbang because we just went to um, Panda Express. Yeah. And I thought, it I thought, be. yeah, it's just one place, and you know, we we didn't get all the desserts, and you know, go to three different restaurants like we normally do. And then we opened up all the food, and I'm like, um, yeah, this is a mukbang. Each, thing, each appetizer and entree filled up all one, one plate each. big, yeah, plate. So, yeah, we got two <laughs> sides. Um, if you don't know, Panda Express just opened in town. It hasn't just even opened. been open two weeks, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so there's a chow mein side. And there's a fried rice side. Oh yeah, it's kind of hidden by. <laughs> yeah, and then we got crab rangoon, and um, that's the, the honey chicken. The honey chicken, honey chicken. and string, string bean, bean chicken. chicken, and the Mongolian beef. Um, Heather checked for me to see what was keto. Yeah, <laughs> and the Mongolian beef and the, the string, bean. string bean chicken are keto, so I can eat those, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I might cheat and have a crab rangoon. <laughs> we open these? The we dogs got are gonna tons get, of these. The dogs are going to get their own little treat Oh, today speaking too. of which, you might want to move yeah. over. You can. Dibby. I don't think anyone can see her. It's just yeah, water. she's got so much food. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to start eating and we're going to um, answer your questions that I put on social media today. Sorry about the hair. I didn't have time to your lips looks like bunched well, up well, a little bit. Well, don't worry. Okay? Even though yours is a little messy, uh, mine is wet. I can take a shower. <laughs> and normally we would have all the Valentine's Day decorations up, but we decided to keep the Christmas cards up um, until the end of February. And just because we're going to be gone for St. Patrick's Day in March. So we usually go from one one thing to another, you know, one holiday to another, and just put everything up. But um, we're gonna, I don't know where Kip is. Uh, we're, we're gonna be gone, you know, for a good portion of March. She's right behind me. <laughs> I'm a fine kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, he's under the table. Uh, <laughs> he's got his face in my lap. Oh, kitty. He was waiting. <laughs> you silly boy. <laughs> and have like a shortcut of like where did Kip go? <laughs> okay, I hope this works because we're not used to using this camera. So I don't know how the volume or the you know it's going to be and i have the dishwasher running in the background and it's pretty loud i the, the way it's in there it doesn't have a, um like a sound you know how they usually have insulation in there mm -hmm. it doesn't have insulation in there i know it. in the past we've had like the um washer and dryer running so meh. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> okay. so are we ready to answer some questions and get some food yeah but yeah. Oh, you know what? The keto stuff is over there, Mary. You want oh, to put yes. some on the plate for me? Yeah, I don't know how much you want, so you're gonna have to tell me when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some of this rice. No, 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 no. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> I'll, I'll sneak one of these. <laughs> 
You didn't see that. It's, it's not keto. It's keto if you think hard enough. If you think hard enough? Mm. I knew we were going to do this too and I wasn't going to do lunch. Oh, Mary, that's a lot of food. That's what I don't. I told you to tell me when to stop and you weren't paying attention. That's okay. You're not very crispy. Make it they probably make them like french fries all at once and... I'm gonna try some of this. Yeah, cause it's not crispy at all. Oh, there's an edge that would look crispy. Okay. They gave us like silverware for 20 people. <laughs> So we're going to use our silverware. Ooh. I'm Mongolian. Just Mary's elbows and lay. I can't get the beef. <laughs> so happy birthday, Heather. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um. Happy birthday. Eh. Getting a little treat. I'm going to get some of this, too. Because that's what I want. <laughs> They have broccoli as a side too. Mm -hmm. I was gonna dip some. That broccoli is good. And then we got large Dr. Peppers, Heather and I. Extremely large. They're like the size of my head. <laughs> they're very huge. They're like the uh, the the large. The big gulps. Yeah. yeah, they're like um the ones you get at the movie theater. So like you know the yeah. size medium of a movie theater <laughs> right yeah exactly yeah because i got a medium the other day and it was like well it was almost that big <laughs> i am gonna start with my personal facebook page because <laughs> i have some crazy questions on there oh boy all right where's my <laughs> the first one was, did you see the spy balloon? <laughs> we, I didn't even know about it until yesterday. Mm -hmm. And when I saw like a Facebook post. I think one of the first ones was spotted over Nashville. Oh. And I was there. Maybe it's following you. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Somebody's spying on me. Hmm. But yeah, the Nashville, um, the, my, uh, my sister's, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that, that's a whole other can of worms. But my sister, her, her son, um, he, he asked me if I had knew, knew about the spy balloons. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? He said, there's, there's spy balloons from China. And I was like, what? So I didn't know whether to believe him or if it was a hoax. And then I had heard it was a hoax. And I heard it wasn't a hoax. And then I heard it was weather balloons. And... It's just all kinds of stuff and mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. nope i didn't see any spy balloons i but, i spend too much time indoors i don't <laughs> did you hear about them at all i mean you're no. on social media all the time no i haven't it was all over youtube too. no i haven't heard of much of anything because uh what my thing is is that depending on how like i like things i'll get more of that as I go along, so for me, like any feed that I get is either dogs, cats, children falling over. <laughs> Someone falling over. It's funny. <laughs> I know, it's cute. <laughs> I must have got, oh, maybe I should have gotten a little bowl for the sweet and sour sauce so I could taste it first. Oh, I don't know. God, we don't have anything like a bowl here. Well, like a little, little dip dish. Yeah. I'll be back again. <laughs> She's doing it again. Also. While Mary goes, I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> the next question was speaking of spies, it says, Can you really see Russia from your house? <laughs> you know, that's a really funny thing to be asking that for mm. the fact of like where we are. <laughs> yeah, we're in central Alaska. Okay, Alaska is like a third of the whole United States, the lower 48 put together. So it's very big and we're in the middle. So if we went to any coast from where we are, it's 
four, you know, um, three to 500 miles, depending on, you know, which coast we go to. Yeah. So it's very far, very far. And, yeah, but and Russia, there is little islands that you can see from the coast um, of Alaska. Mm. And those are little Russian islands. They're Russian um, people that live on those islands. But as for where we are, no, you cannot because we're in a hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Plus we're in a valley. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, nah. <laughs> you see nothing but mountain. Do people still use dog teams to get around? Some people do. They do. Actually, yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. Um, no, some people that aren't like doing like full on dog teams, they still like have their, uh, the dogs from said teams going with them when they go skiing too. Oh, the ski touring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, if you haven't heard of ski during, it's where your dogs pull you along while you're skiing. That's, and that's usually cross country. Yeah, it's cross yeah. country skiing. And if they, um, I think that's like another thing too with like the mushing is that if they can't like get all the dogs out there and there's like the two that tend to have like so much energy, they could just do that. Mm -hmm. But Denali, if you visit Denali National Park, those dog teams are working dog teams. Mm -hmm. That's do. the only way they get around there in the winter time. Because they don't, um, well, there's like going over the ice in some areas can be dangerous. And those dog teams are trained to know how to cross those rivers. Mm -hmm. um, and they can tell usually like where's the safest to go. Yeah. And there's areas where they can't go by snow machine. Mm -hmm. And there's... Um, I think a good portion of it is no motor vehicles anyway. Yeah, there's a, there's a good portion of it like that. Mm -hmm. So they still get their research and um, and everything done, but they, they use the dog teams to get around to the places that well, they wouldn't be able to get to with vehicles. Kippy, do we mm. need to put that on a pillow for you? Oh, he's, I, he's very loud I feel with like the, the, uh, the crunching goes with the, <laughs> it goes with the food. <laughs> it's like food ambiance. <laughs> Kippy's going crunch, crunch, crunch. Um, are the mosquitoes as bad as people say? And these are all questions from one person, too. Most of them. <laughs> yeah. Though, I would they say... They were really bad last year. Yeah. Really bad. We could hardly go outside bad. Yeah, I'd just say, like, between the years, it's debatable between okay to horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Last year was kind of horrifying. Because it, when you go around here, if you end up seeing like dragonflies anywhere or like majority of dragonflies outside, you know it's going to be a good year to go outside because they eat the mosquitoes. And that's what I was just going to say. Um, our yard, we had a lot of dragonflies. A lot of dragonflies. So we actually did good. The This yard here wasn't too bad. I mean, other people, yeah, they said they couldn't even go outside. They had yeah. mesh tents. We too. had a lot of those little, they're, um, they're usually like this really bright blue color. These like little tiny dragonflies. Mm -hmm. Well, no, there were some big dragonflies here. Oh, well, yeah, because when they fly past your head, it's like... They're like helicopters. They sound really loud. I am thankful for the dragonflies, but I'm also mortified by dragonflies. Is the... Circle Hot Springs Hotel building really haunted? Oh. That's a good question. I, have I, we ever been there? I don't think I've ever no, been No, we've there. never been there. So I would like to go, especially now that somebody brought that up. Oh, <laughs> you know, because we are, we are always you know, intrigued by those haunted houses and yeah. buildings and stuff. <laughs> I never really experienced... Um, the those, hauntings or anything. Yeah, I never experienced hauntings and and I don't know if it's just that I don't want to fully believe because those kinds of things scare me <laughs> or if ghosts just don't haunt me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it could be a mini a thing. I, guess. I believe there was a ghost that was around me when I was small. <laughs> so, and she also wanted me to mention um, pronunciations. So, um, the, there are places here and they're spelt differently, but they are pronounced pretty similar. Mm. Um, there's the Tanana and the Nanana. And, uh, so some people call it the, the Tanana. Yeah. Tanana. Or, or the, um, Ninana. Ninana. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Tanana and Nanana. Yeah. And, um, Valdez. 
some people call it Valdez. There's um, or... a place in Prudhoe Bay called Caparic. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And new people always pronounce it Cooperook. Cooperook. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, don't even get me started on toke. It's mm -hmm. T-O-K, toke. So, I mean, I'll, I'll put... People probably call it talk. You know, well, you would have seen them by now, but I'm going to put the spellings up here, too. Mm -hmm. Advice about moving to Alaska. <laughs> oh, my right, gosh. I have fun with that one. Yeah, now, this comes from a friend that wanted to move to Homer. She came up here, Rena. You've seen her in some of my past vlogs. If you haven't, go look at those vlogs because they're they're wonderful. I mean, so a couple of years we filmed where we went, and we went to Kenai, and um, oh gosh, we had a great time. But uh, she wanted to move to Homer, and they got an RV, and the plan was to just you know do some touring and stuff, act kind of like retirees uh, down in the lower 48 for a year before they moved up here. Well, they started having problems with the RV, so they figured, well, let's just go up. So they came up here. Um, they figured they would stay in Anchorage for the winter, get jobs, and then move on. Mm -hmm. Well, um, all the places where they could keep an RV uh, weren't very good areas <laughs> down in Anchorage. So I told her, go on in to Saldotna, and, and she did, and they were going to stay there for the winter. And, um, they just fell in love with it. And they fell in love with it. <laughs> and, they stayed there. And, they're, you know, and she realized that, you know, she's my age. You know, they're both my age. And they, they realized that, you know, they're going to need medical care and help and um, a community and stuff. And Homer is more for... Um, younger people and uh, you know it's kind of an artsy community and stuff they don't really have a whole lot of medical access there you know you would have to uh, fly in by helicopter or something to Anchorage you know because mm -hmm. it's what about eight hours from Anchorage you know yeah, just we, because it's a slow road because we, we um, drove down to Anchorage what's the driving time from Anchorage to Homer Minutes if you're oh god no! <laughs> well, no, we flew down. The when plane we did, can't even get you there that fast. When we did um, go there, we flew down to Anchorage, got a car rental, and then drove the rest of the way. Right? Isn't that what we did? Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was a long time. Yeah, because we started it really early in the morning. Well, not early, mm -hmm. but like you know, early-ish in the morning, and then um, and then we didn't get there till like late. At in the afternoon so the next question is what's on your bucket list mm -hmm. um, my Alaska bucket list um, I can mark off most of that with the cruise and that's what I'm gonna try my hardest to do it next year mm. I looked at the prices and they're actually pretty pricey but um, you know I could swing the cruise but the hotels because the one I want to take that's going to hit all of my bucket list, you know, which is um, Ketchikan and Sitka, Juneau, mm -hmm. um, you know, Glacier Bay, and plus I want to go to Vancouver. So it starts in Vancouver and it hits all those places all the way up. You know, and yeah, we've always talked about wanting to go to Canada. Maybe that'll mm -hmm. be its own trip one day, I mean, like far into the future. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely, we haven't even been to Juneau, and that's our state capital. Right, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so none of those places, the southeast, I haven't been to any of them. We had talked about doing the ferry, um, because the ferry is really cheap, but it's, it, if you go by ferry, you have to stay overnight, you know, if you want to see anything from any of those places, because the ferry stops here and then goes on to the next place, and stops here and goes on to the next place. So you have to stay the night and that becomes really pricey and that you all these places you have to fly into there's no road access to get to them they're um they're in like an island area so on a peninsula so yeah 
the mm -hmm. cruise is the way to go if you want to see those places. And we've seen other people do it now, and yeah, we're convinced that like it's pretty pretty cool idea. Four hours if you're normal. No, go on. <laughs> <laughs> if you're normal. <laughs> I'm not normal, so it's probably eight hours. No, if you're Alaskan <laughs> and you're above 60. Well, I don't know. Every time I've ever drove to Homer, you stop here and you stop there and you stop. We stopped that's like, like 50 places, yeah. That's like um, Anchorage. You know, people used to tell me, how long does it take to get to Anchorage? And I was like, I don't know, eight hours, 10 hours. You know, but we used to well, stop I always everywhere. used to have kids, and we'd stop in Denali, we'd stop to go to the bathroom, we'd stop to eat. We, so one day we had to, like, hoof it, get down there quick. It took, like, six hours. Six hours. Six and that's hours. what it takes most people. Yeah, and that's what it takes most people. I was like, oh, I had no clue. I said, I'm going to drive more often. A lot of people, so. too, who have kids um, don't like to stop along the way, so they'll, they'll tell their kids, like, pee five times before you go, and we're not buying <laughs> drinks. So... Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of something life said. <laughs> or I think there was like a cup involved. Mm. Okay. No. So, I hope I'm answering these things okay. <laughs> I think you're, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh boy. Oh. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? I have a lot of, I was just talking about, I have a lot of weird, obscure ones. <laughs> um, that is a, yeah, that is a very good question. My nose is cold. Yeah, especially for you, because, like, I think half of your childhood, you kind of forgot. Yeah. Yeah, maybe doesn't remember a lot. Now, mm. when we went back to Michigan, it really boosted her memory. She re Yeah. Yeah, I remember she was like, a lot oh, of stuff. oh, I remember this now. That's kind of like... When people ask me those questions, it kind of puts me on the spot. So I'm like, uh, I don't have any memories now. What are memories? <laughs> like, um, I'm you trying to figure kind of? if any stand uh, out. There's actually a good number of them because like I, well, this isn't a memory, but I'm actually going to state it because if like any of you guys ever like taken like a, like when I take a video in my room or taking glances in my room, I have plushies lying from wall to wall almost. But the reason for those plushies is that when I grow older, I want to make sure I remember a lot of my memories. So every single plush is from something very important that I want to remember. Hmm. Huh. That's like, I just have trinkets like, uh, like a sweater or a keychain or... Something like that. So it, and also it was like, what I think do doing all four parks in one day at Disney. Oh yeah, that was pretty memorable. That was like the best day too, because we didn't get to do everything, but just it being the first time mm -hmm. ever going to Disney World, but then just like getting to see at least a glimpse of each park was so cool. And by the mm -hmm. end of the day, we, we were just- We got to do so much too. Right? And by the end of the day, we were just so exhausted, <laughs> but like so happy that we just, we went to bed and I don't know what we did the next yeah. day. We just went swimming. <laughs> yeah, we walked, we walked probably 15 miles. But that wasn't that long ago. I was so worn out after that day. That I was think. like my, my last year of college. Oh yeah, beginning of my last year of college. <laughs> now that I think about it, that yeah, was, it was like pretty recent. Yeah, I think that was the day like I did have enough energy, thankfully, to go through like all four parks. But at the same time, I think I was like exhausted. I felt sticky, which was weird because I, I mean, was wearing a dress. <laughs> Wait, was that January twenty twenty? Was that? Yeah, that was. That's just when we COVID. did that. That was that was the year of COVID. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we did that. Yeah, because that's when I had that really confusing tax oh, yeah. teacher's class. <laughs> yeah, and at the same time too, the, like that, though it was the year of COVID, that was, uh, yeah, because that was the same year when you first started getting sick when we came back and then they started announcing it in February and I was like, ah, great. Yeah. <gasps> I was, yes, it I was surprised I was still alive. Mm -hmm. I was that sick. I was horrified I was gonna, come home and I, I couldn't breathe I had to sleep sitting up because I could not breathe I wasn't eating Mary was feeding me fluids just to 
keep me hydrated. Yeah. I kept just handing and her stuff. <laughs> I was I, so yeah. afraid. I think I was the only person working the entire time while you were out too. Yeah. So I finally I finally I gave up and I was gonna go to emergency and then our local um urgent care opened in Ooh. an hour and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go there. Our and I had I had double yet. pneumonia. Yeah. No, it was January. Because they, so. yeah, they kept saying that it was. Um, Nobody knew anything about COVID. Yeah, they then. said it was a community uh, pneumonia, and that was going. It was going around really fast, and everyone oh, yeah. had it. And so she was still. Um, mm -hmm. I was well, actually, I was so afraid that she was going to get worse going outside that I just started taking the bus to all of my classes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone could hear that. I know, but I'm laughing. <laughs> but. Yeah. What was it at the same time like now that i think about it i think that was like supposed to be the one year too that they were going to have the comic-con at the carlson center yeah, oh yeah it didn't. but that was like the second year yeah well no i think that was like the first ever year that they were going to no. do it no no they had one before that oh i don't know heather and i went to the first one life dropped yeah. us off oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. we had a big conversation about that <laughs> and we're not going to talk about it now <laughs> okay so, I begged questions. Amy. Oh, God. <laughs> she, she said, she said, do your viewers know that you lived in Eminem's house? Um, hello, <laughs> Eminem lived in my house. <laughs> it was my house before it was his. Yeah, she sold I it sold it to Eminem. <laughs> and the, the, as, wasn't this a story that we've like talked for about three months at one point too? Like every single month we just end up bringing it up. <laughs> I don't know. It comes up a lot. Yeah, I I was getting divorced and I needed to sell my house and um, my real estate agent told me he had somebody come look at the house and I was at work and Faith, Faith was what, probably about 16? Mm. She must have been about 16 mm -hmm. then. And, um, and Wait, she was... called me up and she said, who's he showing the house to? These This couple's kids, they aren't going to be able to afford this house. The question cause... is, was I born yet? Because I think she was 17 when I was born. Yeah, you were born. So she might have been, was it that year? Yeah. So then she... No, she turned 17 that December. So it was between when you were born and... Oh, okay. So yeah, between 16 and 17. Yeah. So anyways, she... <laughs> She called me up and she said, you know, this is a real young couple. And it was a 5,000 square foot house, 5,005 square feet, I think. Pretty big. And, and it was beautiful, beautiful. It was considered a mansion style home. It was a Tudor and, uh, and it, uh, it had all kinds of, you know, bells and whistles and stuff. It had Italian, they had an Italian designer come in and do everything. So when I moved in, I I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I didn't have to do anything to it. But um, <laughs> so so I I called my real estate agent because you know she was concerned. She's like, ah, oh, yeah. And the real estate agent said, well, I guess they came into a lot of money, and I don't know. It's he's some young and up up and coming singer and. His, have you ever heard of Slim Shady? And I was like, no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> so, so I called Faith back and I said, I don't know. Have you ever heard of Slim Shady? And she's like, what? He's yeah. in my house. That's like his <laughs> most popular song. Is like, please Slim stand Shady. up. Please stand yeah, up. that was his song at the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was absolutely funny that she ended up being in the and same she, atmosphere. Yeah. She's like, oh my gosh. You know, every time he comes to see the house, I want to see, I'm going to be there and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, and he did. He bought the house. But Oh, gosh. Everyone face age. Everyone. All of the millennials, pretty much. <laughs> like, they uh, know all of the songs by heart. Mm -hmm. And for, no matter what, it's still, like, on a playlist. I'm for many doing. years, I, you know, everybody thought I was, like, his mom or something because they're all like well what's he doing now <laughs> and i because of, you wouldn't want because i sold the house to him i did i knew everything that was going on with him <laughs> oh, no he wrote a song about his mother you wouldn't want to be her <laughs> right <laughs> his mother was not a great person mm -hmm. okay i think that's all my personal stuff mary so have you got the stuff from the from the other social media? Yeah, let me see. I think we only got a few comments on that. 
Um, some people said no questions. Looking forward to the mukbang in honor of Heather's <laughs> birthday. Mm. Um, There's an little <laughs> Oh, uh, Vera from Michigan said, hope you had a wonderful trip with your family. Would love to hear about it. Um, oh, uh, Deb Deborah said, I enjoy your vlogs and hearing about the Alaska things and places you visit. Nice you got to meet your sister. The girls did fine alone. That's great. <laughs> we did fine. Um, oh, wait a minute. Rena did ask about auroras. Oh, okay. She, um, I mean, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about auroras, but, you know, the aurora borealis, the northern lights and stuff. Um, we have been really spoiled the last couple of years because the auroras have been just amazing and really bright and and it, you know, if you watched my, if you're new here, go back and look at some of the old mm -hmm. videos because almost every video I had some kind of aurora up there, pictures or something. Wait, yeah. Actually, didn't you have a very recent video? I did mm -hmm. because it was very bright here. Um, then it was just that one night, but that's not always the case. I mm -hmm. mean, you're sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Now. Um, March is actually a really good time to see the aurora, but there's a really short window because our sun starts to come back. And you can't see it when there's daylight out. Mm -mm. It has to be very, very dark. Yeah. And, and clear. And clear. And it just hasn't been clear this year. There's been a lot of cloud cover yeah, and a lot of weird, snow. Because and... we haven't received as much snow as last year. Yeah, because the aurora is way up in the atmosphere. It's mm -hmm. way up above the clouds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's where our um, our ozone layer, our layer, the magnet magnetic rays from the sun hit that layer, and it creates this you know light glow, show this light show. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And then the Science. videos I just <laughs> recently got, the videos I just recently got, it was moving. I mean, it was going mm -hmm. fast, and it doesn't normally do that either. It wiggles like a snake. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, kind of wiggles like a snake. <laughs> or it looks like curtains is what people yeah, say. Yeah, curtains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you've all seen pictures and stuff. Or, you know, The cameras now, I mean, I have a friend that has um, the same phone that I do, and she, it's got pro settings on it. She actually took beautiful videos with her phone mm -hmm. um so i gotta get with her to find out how she um took those videos because she took them with her phone yeah. and it, right down the street so it was near my house with and we have all this light pollution around here so i know i uh i like found a good website to find the um oh like the how you can change your photo settings on your phone to get like almost professional photos of the uh, um northern lights Mm -hmm. But um, I always forget what it is, so I always got to Google yeah. it again. Yeah, and I was doing that with my older phone. Um, my new phone, it just automatically, it has like a night mode. So, I like that. So, so it just take... automatically takes the pictures. Beautiful. Yeah, I like doing that and taking pictures of the dog sleeping and love it. <laughs> oh, gosh. It looks so funny. <laughs> okay, got some questions? Okay. Oh, how was it meeting your family, Sherry? Must have been a lot of emotions. You know what? It was. <laughs> I was just talking to Mary about that today. I said because I I felt weird and I didn't think about it until I got home. I said, you know, my sister. If you know, you don't know that either. This is my biological sister that I went to see in Nashville. Um, I found them just before COVID. They were going to have a family reunion in 2020, and they didn't. And because a bunch of them are elderly, they just haven't had them since. So I've been, you know, trying to meet everybody one by one. And she's the first one that I contacted. And we FaceTimed and, you know, we were talking a lot. And she set up a Facebook page. So, you know, we hit it off right off the bat. And I thought, oh, you know, it'd be fun to go see her because our birthdays are a day apart. Right, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, she, so we're the same age for one day. <laughs> yeah. And when I got there, the Nashville airport is actually pretty small. I was surprised at how small it is for such a big city. Yeah, she said it was almost um, as big as the Anchorage the Airport. The Anchorage Airport, yeah. Yeah, 
And so when I got out to her truck, you know, I looked at all this traffic and I'm like, oh, get in the car, get in the car, <laughs> you know? And so, so she looked at me and she opened up her arms and I'm like, oh yeah, hugs. <laughs> you know? So, you know, so otherwise if I would have had time and it would have been in a different situation, I probably would have been crying and, uh -huh. and it's like, well, oh, like, you know, yeah. yay, so I finally get to see you face to face kind of thing. <laughs> and, I were there, but like since she traveled alone and yeah, and then she was all like worried about getting places in time and and getting her stuff and whatnot. Usually if I'm there, then she'll look at me and I'll, well, I'll look so happy at her that that kind of makes her cry <laughs> for some reason, because that happens a lot. If we're watching movies, <laughs> if we're watching movies, I have to Crying look away from her, because otherwise she's gonna look at me and it makes her cry more. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so so that might have been a good thing. But I definitely yeah. want to go with her next time. I almost time. cried when I left. You know what's really funny in <laughs> I a didn't way? want to go. We were I trying know. to figure out how I could do more days. <laughs> yeah, I kind of found it really funny for a moment because there was the, the one day that we ordered, actually, um, Taco Azteca while you were gone. Uh, usually when we watch, like, sad movies, you're the one that's first to cry about it. Mm -hmm. But when you're not around, Mary literally witnessed me cry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told Mom about that. I was yeah. like, Heather was yeah, pretty... Yeah, it was kind of weird. Pretty uh, broken up when uh, the kid was singing with his grandma at the end of Coco. I was over here just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just, like, wrapped up in 50 blankets because I was so cold still from all that shoveling we did earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. that, I, I could just and blame it on the spices. I was kind of, like, <laughs> trying not to look at her either. <laughs> I was like, I feel like if she look, if I look at her, she's going to be just like, Mom would get angry at me. <laughs> she's like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> I get awesome. We had so much fun. And those videos... You probably would have seen the first one on Sunday, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I didn't get a whole lot of, like, it's just little snippets of things, and there's a lots of music and stuff in Nashville, so I had to, um, Cover up a lot. you know, talk over it yeah. and, and just mute the audio. But oh my gosh, she kept sending us, like, all these cool pictures and stuff they were doing, and I was like, take me with you! <laughs> like, next time I super want to go! <laughs> Nashville yeah. looks really We were fun. talking about doing that every year, like celebrating our birthdays together. Yeah. But next year we're going to be in Las Vegas. So we're going to try and talk her into coming to Las Vegas. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Lots of plans. <laughs> More questions? Okay. Um, Mary's turn. She's got the questions. Oh, how come you only have one car for the three of you? Must <laughs> Hard at times, even though you seem to make it work. This the question always pops up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it always does. Um, we're we're in town. We all work pretty close to home. Yeah, I really only and work it like works for our schedule away. because because one of us starts at like eight, eight in the morning. Yeah, eight. So I get there right around mm. like a little bit before eight, and then um, she starts at and like nine. Right? Or is it like I well I start at nine or nine thirty depending on the day. And then Heather starts at nine thirty usually. Nine thirty to ten. So but she lately my schedule has been nine thirty, so Yeah. Yeah. But I did tell mom. And then same thing with us getting off at work. It's all uh, right well, about the same time. I did tell so mom. It works. It works. I know how to drive. Um, I really want practice with a few things because I don't want to like go out and start just driving around. Mm -hmm. And then um, somebody's not, behind you honking. Another car is another expense. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And we're saving a lot of money right now, which is how we're able to go on these trips and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, probably the only reason why we're able. And so whenever anybody at my work asked me, like, well, why don't you have your license or your car yet? I was like, well, first of all, I don't have to pay the insurance on a car. I don't have to pay for the gas for the car. Or the car. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have to pay for a car. And then it's like, I mean, it works out because we're so close anywhere that if I needed to absolutely go to the store to get food or something, I could we take can the walk bus. Over. Or I can walk. Yeah, it's not that far. Yeah. So, yeah, like me myself, like I, the these guys can tell you that I've been getting off of work early really now and then early. because yeah. it's and been, been pretty. Home. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. So I'm the one that like walks home and I get home sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling mom though, um, since I do have some experience driving, I do really want to practice those things that I'm not good at, like backing into parking spots or parking in general. And um, I think that's like my main issue. And uh, 
I just want to make it a goal to get my driving license by the end of the year, just so I have it. You. That's more the chicken. And chicken then when stuff. we go on road trips, we can swap out and stuff. Cause I'm not chicken. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I'm not too sure about that sauce. That's the goal. I don't know where she got her keto thing from. Oh, one of your chickens fell in my sweet and sour <laughs> sauce. Eat it. Anyway, that's the goal is to get my license hopefully by the end of the summer. Um, I will have to do a lot of oh, yeah. convincing. She'll, she'll get it. Because <laughs> I've been told when I've gotten into cars with people I mean, who and practice it would with be me, good they said I'm pretty have good. It in case of emergency or in case anything happened to me. Or... Right. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Do you need more? That's good. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm just here. She doesn't <laughs> have any want to drive. Desire. Yeah. yeah, she does not like it. And this. I guess that's okay. There, there's been the fire and police department actually put up a, a Facebook post that, you know, to slow down and be careful because there's been so many accidents. There's a record amount of accidents this winter. And it's just been really icy. Yeah. But the problem is, is I don't know if it's tourists or people just not paying attention, but um yeah when you come have a whole bunch of new lights in town that are blinking yellow lights and that means that you have to yield and wait for the oncoming traffic and people are going mm -hmm. so almost all of those accidents are left turners they're turning yeah. into oncoming traffic and it's causing some really severe severe accident well, yeah because i've been seeing some of those auto claims my co-worker was really lucky because he was going through a light like normal but the person coming the other way it was too icy and she couldn't stop so she like slammed right into him luckily he just walked away with a cut on his thumb oh yeah and then uh i think he told me about that he said that his elbow might have been dislocated i don't remember it maybe it was just really badly bruised but it was no yeah. probably like he, me he walked away with minor injuries and so many people told him you are very lucky mm. okay more, more questions let's see <laughs> i will um, say that i get lucky every single time like when i'm walking thankfully like it's light out by the time i'm walking so people can actually like see me when i'm walking in my black outfit <laughs> you need to wear your reflectance i, I don't know. have any reflective no we used to <laughs> anyway you do okay um <laughs> anyway let's see we have oh another question have you seen any ufos in your area uh. But we already kind of answered that one. Alien. I have seen there's been drones oh. flying across my yard and stuff. Yeah. And I I'm really surprised because um, we're within city limits and you need a permit and you mm, need yeah. you need to be um, on a website. You know, they need to know your dates and times that you're flying and all kinds of stuff. Well, and then when she so, said she's seen them, it's been like dark, right? No. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, like, you can tell, like, they're out there even, like, when the dogs are outside, they'll look up and they'll kind of see it. Oh, weird. I've never seen one. <laughs> um, unless it's at an event. Like, uh, the UAF fireworks, there's always a drone taking videos of the fireworks and they post a video on it. Mm. Um, let's see. They said, how is the crime rate in your area? I hear crime rates are higher in the winter due to being inside a lot. Just interesting. And then has anything crazy happened in the area that you've ever heard about? She's a true crime fan. A true crime. <laughs> you know oh, oh, can I tell them the one story? <laughs> uh, that doesn't give us much. Well, <laughs> no. The, they're actually, being at a hotel, you kind of see a bit of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, crime. yeah, yeah. Not, not like true crime, but definitely like... <laughs> weird the, stuff yes <laughs> like recently i'm not sure i think it's fine to sort of say it because i don't know which room it honestly came out of but i actually had a co-worker tell me like uh they're gonna need to call back the person from that was in the room because apparently the person was most likely on probation because they took the little ankle thing off of their leg. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And the person mm. is nowhere <laughs> to be found. Well, that's uh, crazy. Not good. <laughs> because so, usually it sends a signal right away yeah. <laughs> that it's been tampered with. Right. Yeah, mm. that's the most recent thing that has happened. But the other very like recent well, not so recent. It was when we went on the 
the one trip last year, like the last trip that we went on last year, mm -hmm. was I was just like, man, I'm leaving off with a bang because literally at the time this was happening, it was literally down the other side of the hall I was working on. And my coworker that I was with, she was like looking out the door and I'm just like, what's going on? And she is like, I see like the manager and like the front desk lady is going over there. And then we, she was just telling me what was going on. And next thing you know, five minutes later, two cops show up and we're like, what's happening? Right, what's happening? Someone's squatting? Uh, no, because like I said, the first one, the person was probably like on pos pro probation. This guy was also on probation that was in the room. Oh, so they but, came to get him? Yeah, he was, I, I will just specify, he was doing indecent things. <laughs> oh no. So then they had the, there was the last thing that he did that was the last straw was like, they went to go kick him out and he was just like, ah, oh, just like, uh, renew my card and like threw it at the girls. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She was telling me about that too. Yeah. So they called the cops on him and they like showed up and they like looked up this guy and it was like, oh, he's on probation and they arrested him on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what a lot of the crime is here. It's um, mostly, you know, sexual or trafficking or um, yeah. It's People very, it's indecent. very skewed, very skewed up here. Yeah, so. that, I. It's weird that I'm the one that like I'm. Yeah, other than that, I haven't heard of anything really bad. I mean, last last year there was a whole rash of like break-ins and stuff. Oh yeah. You know, and when that happens, it's usually like a a group of probably kids or whatever. Or, there was yeah. that whole story though that had happened like a long time ago at What's UAS. Um, I'm still oh, sorry. telling the story. <laughs> um, but anyway, there was um, there was a girl that was murdered at the dorms at UAF like a super long time ago, and they found her oh, body yeah. in the showers. Um, there were some other but bad things. It was that still had an happened open case. Mm. Yeah, and um, well. They ended up, because of DNA testing, they ended up finding the guy because he had done some other things um, after the fact. Um, so he was much older, but they, they found him and they, mm -hmm. I think they... They actually found him through an ant or something. Yeah, something weird, but they, yeah, they caught him for that crime. And, and the, all of the people who had been, like, kind of waiting for that confirmation and just, like, peace mm -hmm. of mind for years got to get that. So that, that was, like... In, going an ongoing thing for a while yeah. Yeah. yeah that was what 30 years or yeah, something. yeah it was yeah. it was crazy yeah but it's kind of cool that all mm -hmm. this dna testing now is um they're able to close a lot of those cold cases from years ago that is true okay. do we have a lot of questions no not really i was gonna say we're not going very fast another one's just how was your trip to michigan but that's it that's all the questions <laughs> oh really it's, is that everything from both Social media things? I didn't check Instagram yet. I will check that in one minute. Oh, yeah, I didn't. The I, I can check that one on here. Let me get it up. Yeah, let's see who's faster. <laughs> I got it. Oh, man, I got it. She got it before you. Let's see. What's your favorite to meal? What's your favorite meal to cook for yourself and your girls? <laughs> uh, your favorite meal when you go out to eat? And your favorite restaurant? Ah. Uh. What's uh, your favorite one to cook? My favorite meal to cook? Yeah, at that home? one seems to be asking you since mm. it said for you. Well, and the right girls. now. <laughs> right now. Steaks. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, we were at Costco yesterday and, and I was like, I just don't. Ribeyes, oh my gosh. It yeah. Was so good. I was like, I just don't crave ground beef. I just don't like it very much. I'm not sure why, but I was like, but if it's a steak, I will eat that. I like <laughs> so much of it. <laughs> and we got steaks last night and we made it. And I was like, this is the best day of my life. You know, it's really <laughs> funny, like you saying steaks, because uh -huh. so far we cook a lot of things with egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, we just eat a lot of eggs. Yeah. A lot of eggs. It's not my favorite meal, but we eat a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. well, it's just easy. So what's our favorite meal when we go out to eat? I mean, I think we eat at, like, Ajimi enough. Sushi. Sushi. That, yeah. like, that's probably Usually it. sushi. I mean, there's but quite a I, few places. I really can't eat sushi anymore because of the rice. Yeah, before, um, yeah, we'd go and we'd get um, sushi rolls. Mm -hmm. um, and Heather, Heather usually gets one of those, like, meal things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's like... The there's two different things that I go for when we go for sushi. It's either like the was it a roll kind of meal, so you get like the roll, a bit of sushimi, rice, and uh, meat to go with it, 
or I will get like the bento box, which usually has like a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. I think my favorite place to eat in town would probably be Brewster's. Um, oh yeah, they've also, once again, have really good, good steak. steak. <laughs> so <laughs> so we get steaks. that, and then I love their, um, it's a spinach artichoke dip, and it comes with bread. One time we went there, I think they ran out of the garlic bread or whatever they give on the side. So they gave us all of these like chips, but they were kind of like soft, like hand cooked tortilla chips. And yeah. they were different yeah. colors. Yeah, and they were different. Yeah, like spinach. But and... they were so good. We were like, oh, yeah. we're not complaining. Uh, can I do like a second and third place? Because I was thinking like Brewster's is definitely the big one because they have like so many meat options. Mm -hmm. But like for a second place would have to be Blue Roof. Mm. Food, yeah. Bistro, we yeah. don't go there super often, but they're yeah, they're like a little um little small restaurant and they have this really yeah. cool seating area that's like it's like half Yeah, and their oh, menu yeah. is it very looks, unique. It looks like a little Garden. cafe or deli inside. Yeah, but the but the food like is really very big windows. It's um, looks almost like a greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> and you order at the register, but the food looks I mean, it's like gourmet food. Yeah, like what do they call it? Artisan food? Artisan mm -hmm. food, yeah. yeah. It's so and good. then they have like a giant fridge of like the desserts. desserts. They got oh. so many dessert <laughs> options there, nice and they're all dessert. so rich. Yeah, and then number three, I'm sort of like going off of like, oh, number, <laughs> yeah, number two was sort of like the place that we rarely like go to, but it's like the one that I always like want to at least like try again because I love the fries over there. Mm. And then- um, My favorite fries are at the bakery. Yeah. The th <laughs> yeah, the bakery is a really good one. Yeah, the bakery. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I was thinking like the third one, which we've actually been going to a lot more often lately, which is Oishi. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oishi's I think we really were just good. talking about that. It's like authentic. And mom can't eat their ramen oh. there still because now they make keto ramen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's really the konjac good. noodles. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so it's we a, listed like, off lots of places. We like lots of places and lots of food. <laughs> yeah, we're foodies. We like to eat. Uh, let's it see. Could become a food um, vlog. <laughs> out of state. What's the out of state one? Oh, we we're, were talking about that this morning. Um, uh, Cracker Barrel, yes. definitely. We always go there with our uh -huh. grandpa when we go to Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the. Uh, Bob Evans. Bob Evans. Yeah, yeah, Bob Evans. And then which is real oh, similar to Cracker Barrel. And we were talking about atmosphere. Coney Island for the Coney Dogs. Yes, Coney mm. Island. Yeah, that was actually the first place that I went to when we went yep. down to Michigan. Yeah, the yeah. very first, very yeah. first. Because meal. I missed it last time. So we I had to make sure that I got it. This is a mom is just dragging yeah. us there. Yes. <laughs> like, what was it? Was like almost five in the morning. And it, no, it and was, there is it was a, really late at night. It was, was it? Like, I thought it was morning. 7 p.m. in the afternoon. Somebody said, how many different states have you visited and on a cheat day? What's your go-to food? Since we're talking about food, Coney Islands would be my yeah. cheat day food. <laughs> yes. It's good. Yeah, because um, Coney Islands in Michigan, the Coney Islands is the only place I know that does the um, Coney face. burgers, they're open face burgers, so it's called a loose burger. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they put it in a hot dog bun and they just smother it with chili. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have like a place for thing. like a cheat day, but I really missed it when Oishi used to do it, the melon bread. <laughs> oh, oh, they yeah. used to do all those breads. Yeah, Oishi, that, Oishi that, like, used to be a Japanese bakery. Yeah, they, know, but they don't they, do much of the bakery it's, stuff. It's called um, Oishi Kitchen now because they yeah. do mostly foods. Yeah, you know? that's kind of like what I missed still was have like some the desserts, melon bread. I, we got to figure out how to make the melon bread. Now. Well, they do do a certain events too. Well, they'll have foods like food specials, and they'll make something they don't normally make. Yeah. Um, what else is there? I'm sure, there's lots um, of places. Heather was guys. really happy to get. Um, the breakfast from uh, Burger King when we were in Michigan. Uh, yeah. The little the little French toast. Oh yeah, because I like used to fried? every Saturday I used to take them to Burger King for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, that was French like toast were good. yeah, that was like my demand. Like first thing in the morning was just like I think it was either the second or third day. I was just like the like we have no choice. We must go to Burger King in the morning or else. <laughs> and really angry yeah. at me because I needed sleep. She never needs to sleep, but I was <laughs> not getting ready early enough because I was just. I yeah, was and they like, quit selling breakfast at a certain time, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so, I, so I they like, just went. I was like, well, I thought that was the plan anyway, just to bring it back. <laughs> so at least we got it. <laughs> yeah. So 
so the different states, I don't, you know, I've been to almost all the states. I have not been to Louisiana, which we're going to. I have not been to Alabama. It's easier for me to say which ones I haven't been to. I haven't been to California. Mm. So we're going to cross that off the bucket list next year. I know I've been to, oh uh, yeah, I have a friend in California. I've been to Arizona. <laughs> I've been to Florida. I've been to Michigan. I've been to Massachusetts, Boston specifically. Um, is that it? Did we go to New York while we were there? No, I don't no, think so. Because no. um, I was planning on driving into New York, but I didn't. Yeah. I think that's all the places I've... I mean, I'm sure I've been... I mean, I've been at the airport, the Portland, Oregon airport. Yeah. But I haven't been there, like, to mm. visit. And they actually went through all the states on the way here when we moved here. Because mm. we drove. So I don't we, remember much of that, though. Through, <laughs> we came through um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, went up and across, um, and came up through the Dakotas. Mm. So they were through all those states. And then we drove out to um, Utah one year. Oh, yeah. Because I was oh. going to move to Utah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys went across country then, too. Yeah, see, those things I don't remember. Yeah. She was little. I just remember, I just remember we, we've been to Arizona, Florida, yeah. Massachusetts. I forget, where is Washington, D.C.? Heather, Heather, wa uh, Washington. Is it Washington? <laughs> Yeah, it's in Washington, D.C. in Washington. It's, no, it's not. It, no, it's in uh, Maryland. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Because <laughs> there's a state Washington in Oh, so I've been to Maryland. <laughs> because yeah. that was one of my trips to the back in Washington, uh, D.C. Chargeville. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I went to, her class went to um, Maryland and my class went to Massachusetts. Um, and it's kind of based on like where the teachers wanted to take us because they like were from those places or they had family from those e places either well and they're historical from, yeah that too yeah so we learned something no i mm -hmm. think my class actually voted for where we wanted to go oh okay mine wasn't a vote they were just like we're going to boston i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> sounds fun to me yeah we got we had like three choices from what i remember washington mm -hmm. dc was definitely one of them i think boston was actually another one but I, for, I forget what the third choice was. It had to be like somewhere of historical. We're getting very long here. We yeah. still still have things to answer. I'm sorry. We're talking historical, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting so, old. <gasps> oh, gosh. Who's older? Heather or Mary? <laughs> Mary? Heather, just somebody <laughs> said what? They say you were like 16 or something? Oh, uh, yeah, that was funny. Okay, I, so that was that's kind of funny. Yeah, Heather's the older one. People often think I'm the older one because of the way I speak, I guess. <laughs> I'm making so many funny things. Yeah. <laughs> and if, for those of you that don't know, Heather is autistic. She's very high functioning. So, you know. Yeah, like I will sleep. I'll be out like a light. But the second I wake up, like my eyes open, I'm just like, I'm alive. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm a yeah. zombie. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Chip one's chicken. Um, no, a bunch of these questions we kind of answered. Okay. What do you do to beat all the darkness in the fall and winter? That's what? We go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> we make sure we do stuff. We were just talking about um, all the walking mom and I have been doing, mm -hmm. which people keep asking why Heather's not doing yeah. it with us. Is Well, she doesn't want to. Well, <laughs> I, I walk from work. She walks all yeah. day long. But, um, I mean, um, I walk all day long, us. too, because I don't sit much at work. I see. I sit a lot at work in the winter time. Mm -hmm. In the summer, when we're busier, I'm walking the dock yeah. all the time. But otherwise, yeah. But missing days is starting to add up because now, in order for Mary to make her goal, we have to do four miles a day, yeah. which adds another 15 minutes onto our walk. So that's yeah. an hour and 15 minutes in the driving time to and from the Big Dipper. I so I've been so tired. I mean, I could still go to bed so, early, but then, you know, I want to... That's taking up our time. I want to chillax and, and watch movies and do my own thing. Like today, I, I haven't done that in a while. I'm usually like awake at like between nine and 10 because mm -hmm. that's, I'm, my body's kind of on the schedule now. So that's like on the weekends, I usually wake up between those times. I didn't wake up until like 11 and then I fell back asleep until like 
noon <laughs> after I let the dogs out and then let them back in. So they napped with me. <laughs> and yeah, I've just been so tired. Can you see the Alaska Bears Facebook page on that phone? Um, probably. It might be. Let me see. <laughs> um, I, I have. I have two phones. I don't think I and can. And one is dedicated to. Um, one's dedicated to the Alaska Bears stuff. That's all it is. It's just for the Alaska Bears stuff. I'm not logged in, but mm -hmm. I can see what people said. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, what surprised you most about living in Alaska? Surprised us? Um, what do you love the most about living there and what makes you stay? Oh. What surprised us the most about living? Well, when I was little, <laughs> my other four-year-old friends, four or five so around that age, Smalls. told me that I was going to live in an igloo and that it was always <laughs> cold. Oh, Dad also said that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I asked life because I was extremely worried about it. And I, he was like, no, it gets super warm there in the summer. He's like, it's like here. And I was like, oh, mm. thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't mm. think anything really surprised me. It's you know, because I, place. because I had, I was studying it back when I was in high school. You know, this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to live here. Um, you know, it just well, wasn't it's in the funny, cars. Because I grew up here. We'll go down to the lower 48 for vacations and things down there will surprise me. Yeah. And they'll be like, you don't have this or you don't do that. Or like, you do this completely different. And I'm like, yeah. Like, why do you guys do it this yeah. way? <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny. I, kn I can feel that, too, but it's mostly for the weather down in lower 48 compared to here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll because snow just a little bit, heat. or they'll get a little bit of ice. Yeah, in the, like Earth, it's days. warmth in the dark. Humidity. Yeah, warm and dark. It's weird, because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> because by the time we don't get darkness in the summer when it's warm and then when we get all of our darkness in the winter it's always cold so when we go somewhere and it gets dark really fast but it's still like 70 degrees outside or that's 80 yeah. the <laughs> weirdest experience <laughs> yeah 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 i think the only thing for me is like humidity wise because it's so dry here yeah, yeah the humidity yeah. makes it really weird yeah we when we go like down hard to breathe. when we go down to florida our hair is like psh, Oh yeah, it it's gets really curly. Really fuzzy, frizzy, curly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, was Poor there humidity. another question? Um, it, it kind of was a couple questions in one. What do you love the most about living there and what makes you stay? Oh. I don't know, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. I'm yeah. so used to it it's here. It's so pretty. Every time I look up at the sky, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. It's like the summers make it worth it. Some people always ask themselves, especially this time of year, when it feels like the winter's never going to end. They're like, why did I move to somewhere where the winter's so long? Mm -hmm. But then it's like, well, when summer's here, you're, you're going to be happy yeah. about living here again. And it's I just do. so nice. I get seasonal depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we usually take a vacation somewhere in January or February if we can even just down to Anchorage if we could just yeah. go somewhere well, I've been feeling mm. a little that's why we usually do a small weekend trip for my birthday either in March or April because my birthday's on like April 3rd um so yeah I've been kind of feeling that lately and I'm just reminding myself we have a cruise in March. We're gonna be in some place warm. Mm -hmm. I just have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> All right. So yeah, yeah. Then I've been taking lots of vitamin D, so I'm sure that helps. Oh, that's funny. I just thought about that. We put a little question box on the. They um, send like messages. Yeah. yeah. And then we didn't get any any oh. questions from the little question box. Yeah, I've done that before, and we don't really get a lot of them because a lot of people um, follow too many people, and then they just click through their stories. <laughs> uh, why did you decide to stay in AK? Well, there's like a long story. Um, I guess short story is mom's that's, always wanted to live that's here. That's my retirement plan. Yeah, <laughs> my retirement plan. Um, what is one place in Alaska you've never been to and you'd like to visit? Well, we kind of covered that earlier. Yeah, we did. The, with the Just cruise. The southeast with the Ketchikan and Sitka. Those are probably my two top. Yeah. Um, what's the coldest temperature you've ever experienced? 
65 below. Oh, okay. Because it used to get pretty cold the first few yeah. winters we lived here. That is terrifying yeah. when you see ice fog too. <laughs> yeah, my my ex husband um, was here one year, and the day he left, we hit 65 below. Uh, Fred Myers was under construction, so they had these big heaters in the doorway, mm -hmm. and we were we were in the doorway. Well, the heaters um, on the rug was melting all the snow that people were bringing in, and. Um, so it was creating this moisture from these oh, heaters. Yeah. So so it was wet inside there. So whenever the doors opened, the automatic doors, whenever they opened for people to come through, it's, it Steve froze. Uh -huh. It froze all that wet, that damp air, and it snowed inside. <laughs> it snowed inside the I doorway. Remember. I just remember like we took him out to see all the ice art around mm -hmm. town. <laughs> Yeah, the whole time he was here, it was 40 below or colder. Two weeks, or yeah. no, a week, a whole week. And he had a friend who lent him a big parka because they were like, you're going to need this. It was an Alyeska parka. Yeah, and, and, and he I did laughed, end up I laughed at him when he showed up, and I was like, what, what is that? And he said, oh, my friend, you know, told me I was going to need it here. He was right. Yeah. Yeah, because we smart. were bundled up. We went to the Christmas in Ice out in North Pole. And he was outside, come on out, come on out. And we're all hiding in the little, Warming up with the hot, little chocolate. hot chocolate hut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was uh, like, you can stay out there in your Alaska parka. Mm. Oh, we have uh, what made you start vlogging and do you ever wish you hadn't? Oh. Not really. I mean, I just started it because, well, <laughs> I like, I've, I've told people I was going through like a, a college crisis where I was like, what am I going to do with my life? Everyone here in my business school wanted to be like CEOs or like manage people or have a lot of like responsibilities. And I'm like, I just want to be able to make money and have fun. And I don't want to be responsible for like big things. And it just sounds really scary and daunting. And you know, like, and so um, I started the YouTube channel partially because mom and I had been talking about it for a while that like we could probably do something like that mm -hmm. since I had experience editing videos. And I just one day was like, you know what, I'm going to start it. And I did a few videos, got really busy with school, <laughs> and she took over the editing portion of it. And now we've just been keeping it going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad she did. Yeah, but we have such a nice community of people oh, on gosh. here that like... Yeah, we love you all. <laughs> yeah, we, never, we don't really get a lot of trolls. And well, it's it's also good that mom answers all the comments because I, I do get a lot of anxiety about things. Mm -hmm. So I don't see any of the troll comments. Because <laughs> I get them gone. Yeah, she's, you're, she's like... You're out of She's here. used to that stuff. She's lived yeah. long enough that she's like, meh. Yeah. It's just people saying stuff because they want yep. to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the worst. Yep. Block, block, block. <laughs> but, uh, let's so see. if you're still here we love you <laughs> thank you for being the amazing people yeah, you, are. Don't you mind didn't me. get blocked <laughs> don't mind me being the worst influence <laughs> what did you give him a snack i gave him, gave him some beef oh. and a noodle yeah and that beef noodle. is really really tender um did he realize it's, the actually I, I like all this food well what i ate Oh, what do you think of the rest of it, you guys? I, I actually it, quite enjoy it. it. It's all what been you, good. You like the chicken stuff? The chicken! I like that a lot. Yeah, that honey chicken. <laughs> yeah, oh. It's amazing. I can't have it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like almost similar to like orange chicken, but mm -hmm. a little sweeter. Yeah. There wasn't really a whole lot there we <laughs> could eat food. because <laughs> it's marked spicy and we don't do spicy, none of us. Okay. Well, Mary likes something spicy, but. This is like mildly do spicy. Too. I don't mind it. Hmm? Or you like a little bit of spicy too. From well, it depends on what it is. I like wasabi. Yeah. I like horseradish. There's something about that kind of spicy. I don't like pepper spicy. I'm, any kind of hot peppers or anything. I don't like it. Some Things some onions, I don't like them spicy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So are we done with questions? Um, there's one more. Did you realize the difficulty of having family or friends visit you in Alaska? And also did the cost of living surprise you? Okay. The cost of living did not surprise me because I was in a pretty influential neighborhood in in Michigan. 
So the prices there were really high. And when I got here, um, it was comparable. It really was comparable to where I was living in Michigan. Not your sauce. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. This is so cute. And um, yeah, so I wasn't, I mean, the fuel costs once we got a house, because for the first 12 years I was here, I lived in an apartment that, uh, that, you know, the fuel was included. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, it was kind of a shock when you start paying for fuel for a big house. I think he's tired. <laughs> but what was, you guys are distracting me with your dog. What was the question? Um, uh, the, did the cost that, of living surprise you? But also, did you realize the difficulty of having friends or family visit from the Now, California? friends and family. Yeah. I keep trying to get family to come here. But and no one wants to visit. I mean, they, well, they want to, but they're like, the, I can't do it. They look at the prices. <laughs> yeah. So like this Nashville trip, um, it I had a place to stay. So the only thing I had to do was pay for my flights. Uh, and it was actually very cheap. It was $600 round trip. That's cheap, you know, coming from Fairbanks. If you're in Anchorage, Anchorage is a hub. So it's a lot cheaper to go places. But from here, we have to pay those extra mileage fees you know to either get to anchorage or get to seattle um we just realized with our new orleans trip coming up that uh when i booked that trip a year ago they had stopped doing the um seattle you know fairbanks to seattle hub and they didn't know if they were going to have enough pilots or what was going to happen to do it so so i had to actually book Fairbanks to Anchorage, Anchorage to Seattle, and then Seattle on into New Orleans. But um, we're going to have to change that because we have a 12-hour layover in Anchorage, and I didn't, and they kept moving that schedule around on me. And I actually bought an Alaska Lounge membership for the year um, because that will probably save us a lot of money. I think we mentioned that in a video recently. Um, yeah, eating at airports and stuff. Yeah, because we won't have to buy any food because all the food is provided there. We'll have a like a comfortable place that'll that can, pro- has like almost guaranteed for layovers seating around. And stuff, yeah, yeah, and then there's lots of plugs and stuff, so it's a more relaxing place to hang out. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I was like, we? you know what? We're gonna need this. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry if I go on a tangent. Did we talk about the one time that we actually stayed in the lounge? I don't think so. No, not in this video. Well, we had a layover in Portland, in Portland. Oregon. And they had an Alaska lounge, and Mom was like, oh, we might be able to stay in there. Eight hours, and I was super tired. Yeah, so, but we went over there, and the lady explained to us, she's like, oh, well, you have to have a membership. But she's like, but, she's like, I'll let you in for the day if you at least apply for the Alaska Airlines card. She's like, because, she's like, as Mm -hmm. long as you just fill out these applications, she's like, even if you don't get it, it's fine. She's like, well, I'll let you stay in here, because we all look so tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had, and like you said, we had the eight-hour layover. Yeah, and we told her that, and she was like, oh, gosh. So, (laughs) so we um, hung out in there. We had several cups of tea, because we were trying to stay awake. And food. I I drank four cups of tea. And there was little cubby things that you could curl up in and And actually sleep. And then there were big windows. You could look out, like, the window, Mm -hmm. and and watch the planes take off. Yeah. And, so that was nice. And I think during our uh, eight hour layover, we even got to see them kind of change out like the food at like the, oh, the bar, bar that yeah. they had there. And lunch yeah. and stuff, yeah. So that was pretty cool. But I just yeah. bought um, one membership for myself um, and that'll cover all three of us because you're allowed to have two friends or family members um, mm-hmm. with you at any time. So yeah. And, and it's usually, usually the always three travel of us together, room. yeah. Yeah, so that'll work out. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth it by the end of the year. Yeah. Keep breathing yeah. and yawning all over me, sir. Because we usually only go maybe two trips a year, but we do go in and out of Anchorage. Okay. So it's gotten to be over an hour. So we'll we'll end it for now and get all of our food put away. Unfortunately, <laughs> a, a little... Um, Unfortunately, we're out. not like the professional mukbang pe- mukbang people that like consume everything at everything. once everything <laughs> no i've seen what that turns people into um yeah some of talk them with your mouth full unhealthy. things hanging out of your mouth and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well there's this one guy i don't know what his i name looked it is. up and it just said a, a social 
dinner chat or something like and that's that. What, I think it started with Korean culture mm-hmm. and and their YouTube videos and stuff. And they don't, yeah, they don't eat all the food. They just try everything. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. What, though, what makes me laugh is that there was one guy. He had like a video that went like he had going on, and then I think he had a blooper at the end. He was trying to get this chocolate fountain to have melted cheese. <gasps> I think I saw that video. Uh-oh. That clip. <laughs> yeah, so... There's this one yeah. really popular guy on YouTube who, like, he used to be, like, this tiny, skinny little dude. And he got he, a little chubbier. He, well, he gained a lot of Open weight. Open a fortune cookie. Open a fortune cookie um, before you go. In a very unhealthy way, because he had a lot of, like, mental um, hardships. Things that were really hard on him mentally, which made him overeat a lot. And now he does mostly food eating videos, and he... People post a lot about him because he's very sad to watch. Because he's he gets, like aggressive if other people uh, try to take any of his food there you go i don't remember his name though but he's in all over the internet <laughs> oh do i have two no it's just folded okay now oh, you want a piece of cookie what's your say me a sudden change in plans will test your adaptability i don't want that <laughs> oh gosh i feel like that happens oh, all the time it says reward yourself with a much deserved gift couldn't I have gotten that? I got I got probably the most basic, simple thing. What? Treat a friend to flowers. Aww. Well, that's appropriate for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Treat your mom to flowers. I don't want to be tested, guys. I feel like I've gone through enough. I think if I am to get a flower, it's going to be one of those like special little beaded flowers because regular okay. flowers will just... Yeah. Okay. Ooh, waffle. We'll see you all later. Oh. <laughs> Mary's got her mouthful. Never mouthful. <laughs> See, that's that's the part of the mukbang thing. You know? <laughs> Everybody's got lots of things in their mouth. So. <laughs> he took Bye, my guys. He took I my hope, cookie. Hope we answered your questions and weren't too back and forth and all that happy stuff and <laughs> and happy Valentine's Day and mm-hmm. and welcome to all of our new viewers and I wish Heather and, a happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Heather. <laughs> that was my cookie, <laughs> sir. Keeps eating her cookie. Bye. Bye. Did I give Bean some of my cookie then?